So this is really how we're going to start the year, huh? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to ARTV. My name is John, and I talk about all different types of music here on my channel, so make sure to subscribe for the love of music. Today we're talking about the 10th studio album by Papa Roach, a rock band. I suppose that term is maybe a little bit loose at this point. They've been a lot of different things over the year, and their latest album, Who Do You Trust? We're 10 albums deep into Papa Roach at this point in their career, so what do they have to offer us at this point? They dropped four singles preceding the new album, only one of which I actually heard. Renegade Music was the name of that track, and after hearing the very bad Rage Against the Machine impression that Jacoby Shaddix, the lead singer, was kind of using there, I felt like this didn't show promising signs, and unfortunately, it got even worse once I got into the full-length record. We're now here at their new album, Who Do You Trust?, and at this point in time, I see them kind of doubling down of the success of some of their singles from their last album, Crooked Teeth, which I didn't think was great, but there were also some really solid songs like Help on there that I genuinely loved. And this new record, unfortunately, kind of goes down the inspirational pop rock rabbit hole, and it sees Papa Roach trying to relate to a new generation and just feeling completely out of touch at the same time. Oh god, it sounds like Papa Roach were attempting the Bird Box challenge while in the studio trying to land on some sort of consistent tone or pattern for this album. One moment could be faux aggression while the next is Jacoby Shaddix, a 42-year-old man seemingly sitting down acting like one of the teenagers talking about issues of life and, and suddenly having a lot to say about anxiety and not fitting in. This is a very weird and inconsistent album because there are beat drops on the Try Not To Cringe song Elevate. My god, that's an eye roller right there if I've ever seen one. And then so many of the other songs that I heard in the track listing just emulating the sounds of both Top 40 and other successful bands. I can't even begin to tell you how many of these songs I listen to where I hear the melody or I hear the production technique used. Like, for example, the intro to Problems where Shaddix is kind of whispering and there's this light glossy electronic drum kit banging in the background, and it sounds like probably every other pop song that you've heard in the past year and a half. Not everything has to be revolutionary, but Papa Roach are here at this point in their career where they're acting like they're trying to do something new, but instead they just brought on the producer who is known for working with Five Seconds of Summer and All Time Low, and it's a piss poor match for their sound. For the record, that's not a dig at All Time Low or Five Seconds of Summer. It's on Pop Roach here because the songwriting approach and the overall vibe that I get from these songs, the bland guitars that work their way in and are so lukewarm in the background, it almost feels like an afterthought and the production takes over and kind of glossifies the whole forefront of these songs and it just isn't a good look on this band. I think the best way to start talking about the track list here is to call to mind Problems, probably the most middle-of-the-road, safe Papa Roach song to date. Say what you will about their old back catalog, whether it be the new metal or the radio rock, at least they played it with some conviction. They continue to repeat themselves by saying similar vague bullshit on the tame Top 40 acoustic guitar infested Not the Only One and Maniac where Shaddix truly sounds like he's attempting to waltz in as one of the kids that's just out here dealing with these modern problems. Social media and peer pressure? Jeez, guys, this stuff is tough. Look, we're over here having a good goof and a good gaff at Papa Roach's expense right now, but the truth is, if you're into some of Papa Roach's music, if you like their general sound, what they might have been known for in the past, this album isn't a total wash. There's going to be a few songs that probably hit home with you. Renegade music is something that I could see a lot of fans being into. I think it's pretty boring, but that is just my take because it seems derivative of other bands like Rage Against the Machine, 
especially in the vocal department, and also the instrumental on that one. But other songs like the opener, the ending, that one actually has something decent going on in an instrumental sense. I like the synths, they have an aura there, and it builds nicely and kind of pads all the way leading up to Shaddix, who shouts a little bit more during the chorus of that one. I mentioned this song just a minute ago, but the outro of Not The Only One is legitimately a lot better than the rest of the song. It finally gets to that point where we're hearing some real drums kicking through and some actual guitar grit and tenacity. And I'm wondering, where was this on this song? Because it played it so safe with those kind of boring, looping, acoustic guitars. And then it finally gets you up to that point where you're like, wait, 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 wait. There's a song on this record called I Suffer Well. And we had to suffer through the first part of that song, and we had to suffer through a lot of songs to actually get to the short I Suffer Well, but I Suffer Well is only just over a minute and actually presents some punk energy and something that could be cool, but it fades out before it can actually do anything. Is that some sort of, like, tied together conspiracy? Keep asking questions. The songwriting, poor. The instrumentation, bland and very safe. Things are padded up and the tropes and the ideas, they're just repeated and recycled throughout the track list. So I cannot give this any higher than a 1.5 out of 5. That is, of course, just my take and opinion. Please let me know your thoughts tastefully and respectfully in the comments section down below. And here we are. It's the first review of 2019. Papa Roach got me off to a great start. So... Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. If you want to take our relationship a step further, then consider supporting me on Patreon at the top link down below or else this annotation in the corner. It allows me to keep making content like this, especially when YouTube either demonetizes or falsely copyright claims my videos. Other than that, if you want to see another Papa Roach review for some reason, tap here, or another recent rock review right over here. Social's in the description, and I'll see you soon for more on ARTV.